Hi, and very good afternoon to everyone. This is Vaibhav, and I'm the founder and CEO of Find Skills. Hello, Aditi Mehta, Anji, Maheshwari, Amondi, Sanchal, Swati, Veronica from our team. We have Shitesh, Anil, Tadi, and uh, who else have recently joined? Okay, I guess this is it. Shiva and Veronica, can you please help Anil and Shiti Bhushan Meher? The mics are not connected. Okay. Guys, can I have a quick acknowledgement in the chat box? Let me say hi. Are you all able to hear me loud and clear? Can you guys see the screen? And I'm recording this class. Thanks, Aditi. Okay, great. Thank you, everyone. So let me set up the quick agenda for next 40 minutes of session. And then the last 20 minutes, we will keep a Q&A. In this class today, we're going to talk about content writing industry and overview. How exactly content writing industry works. I will be addressing the part that is most important that why exactly people or businesses, they hire writers. What are different types of content writing jobs available in the market? We'll be talking about earning opportunities, two sources of income, any content writer can generate. The most important part that I will highlight is that how. Uh, a, a lot of lot of platforms, uh, you know, there on internet talks about it, that writers make this kind of a money. I will help you to learn that part, that how they make that kind of a money, whatever people have mentioned. I will be giving you guys a long-term vision you should keep with content writing as an industry because a lot of people have one myth that I'll be pursuing a short training program from any institution and I'm all pro. This is not true. I will help you to understand the overall expectation time-wise you have to give to this market. Once you are ready, you can accordingly plan whether it is a right industry to set up a career for you or not. If yes, you can move ahead. If no, you should definitely not do it. this. The last part will be an overview of IM Skills content writing master training program. Why is that we are the most respected content writing institution available in the market? People, those who have done our courses, 18,500 plus, where are they working today? I will show you all of them in terms of their working uh, companies. I'll give you a platform where you can interact with them, talk to them, and see the kind of career they have received. At the same time, whatever we have mentioned there on our website, there are students, they publish their books, they write for Times of India, whatever. I will help you to validate that with real proofs and you can connect with those people. In the end of the day, if that gives you that trust, you can trust IM skills and move ahead with IM skills content writing master program. That will help you to understand that why it is one of the most respected course available in the market. The last part of this particular session will be open Q&A. At this particular time, I will allow you all to unmute yourself, ask me anything related to this subject. At the same time, for the first 40 minutes, only I am going to talk. So I would like to request you all, in case you have any questions, make a note of those, ask me in the end. At the same time, when I'll ask you guys questions so that it's a two-way communication class, use chat option and answer all those things there in the chat box so that we can have interactions. I can understand your uh, overall understanding about content writing subject and we can actually go ahead and lead it in a way that it's a two-way communication-based class. You will be allowed to talk in the end. In the beginning, you are restricted. You cannot unmute yourself. Everybody, are you all clear? Aditi, are you clear? Anil, Anji, Shitesh, Maheshwari, Omandi, Sanchal, Sashmita, Swati, Pushpa, all of you clear? Lovely. So now let's understand the first part called why businesses hire content writers today. If I ask you guys this question right now, let's, let's do that. Why do you think people hire content writers according to your understanding? In the chat box, everyone. Why, according to you, there is a huge demand all of a sudden for content writing industry in the last two to three years, especially after COVID phase. Let's see that how many of you understand the subject. Then I'll talk about my stuff, okay? I'm giving you all 30 seconds to know why do you think people hire content writers? Most stuff have moved online now, hence, okay, due to digitalization, okay. Lovely. 
others in the chat box if anybody is still writing and it's okay we are not expecting right answers we are only expecting your engagement participate now see four mediums through which we distribute content today is voice in a form of podcast how many of you listen to a podcast there are people who are communicating it's all about communication the way they are communicating and the content they are communicating that gives an influence that's a part of one content distribution videos you guys watch a lot of videos youtube vimeo insta all of these platforms correct it's not that people have picked the camera and then they've started saying something no they know the scripts they define them before shooting that particular video okay and then people influence people sell people do different activities so video is another platform do you know that we share a lot of things with our friends nowadays uh, let's say if it is instagram thing we we send that to a friend right image is one other part of content distribution memes images infographics all of these are part of it and content writers they are the one who create of course not design create the content then widely used is text now in text have you received an email from im skills that's part of text have you read any of the articles blogs or anything that's part of text have you read any pr text anything in a form of written word is a part of text based content distribution okay everybody these are four mediums for which we use content creation and then we distribute our content at these platforms however now let's understand the objectives that why we use these types of content and exactly what we do with this majorly if you look at content market is very broad there are various verticals of it however primary objectives for major businesses i'm not saying all those are like online sales or acquisition of a customer lead generation otherwise brand building however if you look at from the market point of view there are other jobs as well example a newspaper they hire writers to write press columns prs similarly a publication house they hire writers to write books help people do the complete part of proofreading any organization those who are into let's say legal documentation they will hire you as a legal writer you get placed at social media agency your job will be to make sure that you are a creative writer who is managing for their clients their social media creatives similarly a company is into digital marketing let's say performance marketing they may hire you and the purpose will be to sell or to write web content for the clients maybe you get hired to write emails or shoot email campaigns in the end of the day anything and everything digitally that's happening it is because of that content okay however primary goals are online sales as i said because such types of companies the other one that i have mentioned are limited lead generation there are content writer helps an organization to generate leads and establish a brand brand building so what is online sales so let's say if i have to buy something from amazon or ebay what exactly i do i go here and now let's say that i have to buy iphone so what i do i will search here iphone let's say 11 iphone 11 assume this is iphone 11 okay or let's say this is iphone let's say this is iphone 11 now the point is at this product page the most important thing that's available is product description and if i don't have this it's hard to get this particular product details at the same time i cannot understand with the help of an image that what is this product all about this website do not allow anyone to take counseling from that which phone i should buy user they land to an app or this particular website they add to a cart they move ahead to buy the product or item that's how the online sale happen right whether it is amazon flipkart or any company now for a minute understand 
if they don't have instead of iphone 11 it says samsung something do you think people will be able to relate with it and will finally be able to make a purchase answer seems no to me correct so we need a writer to write product descriptions these companies they have millions of products they list down and they upload every month on their portals so they need people they actually need good writers to communicate the clear cut message. Obviously, the designing is done by front end guys, the developers. The images are designed by infographics or graphic designers. But in the end of the day, product description is written by writers. Able to relate everyone. Then there is another audience. What happens is that there are people, they go to Google. They don't use search engines. They go to Google and then they search for a product. Now, what happens is that in India, every month, this is the Indian market, iPhone 11 is being searched by 2.2 million people. When they search, they respond something like this. 7,44,000 people. They click on organic results. 3,80,000 people. They click on paid ads. 1.1 million people. They do not click anywhere. What's the role of a writer here? Let's understand this part. Can you guys see this? One, two, three, four. At the same time, can you guys see these ads? One, two. And if I click here, show more or these ads, these are all ads, sponsored ads, okay? These are on the left-hand side, all organic listings, SEO. Now, let me explain you guys how it works. See, one of the things that helps organization to be here, they're on page number one of Google and their rankings to be on the higher side is their writers. And if they don't have good writers, they will miss out 7,50,000 people, almost those who are free of cost traffic. Now, of course, it's a mixed role of a writing and technology that we need to understand. That's SEO. However, in this type of a case, if you look at website Apple, GSM Arena, Flipkart. These are first top websites. They get 6,85,000 people have the highest traffic revenue. They get average traffic of 5,57,000. If you go at page number one, but the position is somewhere on eighth, here you will hardly get 1,200 people, those who are visiting this page. Why there is a difference? Reason being, though Mac rumor people, they are as famous as Amazon or GSM Arena. However, there are other guidelines given by search engines they are unable to fulfill and that's one of the reason they are at page number one and the ranking is of course at somewhere at 7th, 8th. But because of this ranking fluctuation, what are they missing out? Almost 7,40,000 people. Those who could be the buyers. Everybody, are you able to relate? Now, in this type of a model, this job, for any kind of a product or service can only be performed by a good writer. Those who understand search engine guidelines, because the more you understand that, the higher ranking opportunities this company will get. And if they will get higher rankings, they will get higher traffic, web traffic. With, web, with higher web traffic, what will they get? Sales. Understood? Can I have your yes in the chat box? So it's not just a role here. And you will be able to relate with this, that how a writer helps an organization to crack or get an online sale. Okay. Talking about this audience, those who are sponsored one. Now, obviously, these ads are not created by content writers. These advertisements are created by digital marketing teams. However, there are copywriters. Their job is to write an amazing ad copy so that when somebody clicks, lands to a page and that page named as landing page, these ads copies should be written in such a way or the landing page content should be written in such a way so that when they are paying money to Google or any other search engine to drive traffic on their website, they should be able to convert that traffic into a sale. So here, a demand of a good copywriter is available. If you have good copywriting skills that drive sales, in the end of the day, the company's business goal or their objective is 
to sell the maximum number of phones or whatever for the keyword they're running the ad for. Their end goal is to make sure that this is happening. Understood? Can I have an acknowledgement from all of you in the chat box that why and what kind of a role you play when it is a company into an online acquisition or a sale model such as Amazon, such as Flipkart, such as eBay, such as Ajio, such as Mintra. So in these types of companies, your role is very specific. You help an organization to drive traffic that gets converted into a sale. Talking about lead generation. What are leads? Leads are when you capture a prospect from the internet. See, in most of the cases, businesses have no idea that their potential clients they trust organizations only on the basis of their internet presence. I'll give you an example. All of you will be able to relate with it. See, let's say in the last 15 days, you may have planned to take a content writing course. And after that, you started researching about content writing subject. Let's say, is it a good career? How much an average salary people make? Where all you can learn this course, whether it is online, offline, and like that, you may have searched for other keywords as well. And that too, there on search or YouTube, Quora, some, uh, let's say, PR websites, news portals, and all other places, correct? Might have happened with you. Now, eventually what happened was while you were Googling it, you realized that, okay, there is an institute named IM Skills. Every time when you Googled these types of stuff, and then you have reached out to our website, you filled out that application form and afterwards you have received a phone call or the other details as you have requested for, correct? Now pick up the thin line here. Who initiated the relationship between Sanchal, Sashmita, Swatik and IM skills? How we all met? The first foundation was done by the content writers, correct? That you raised a question and they produced answers for those questions raised by you there on internet, whether it is in a form of video or it is in a form, in, a form of an article, yes or no. Afterwards, you have been speaking with the counseling team. Afterwards, you're attending the orientation. Correct? Yes or no in the chat box. Now, this is what you need to understand. Every company is not like Amazon or Flipkart in India or outside India. Those who are selling products online. No, there are people, their model is we want to get a lead from our prospect. A lead means details of a person who is likely to take it forward. Let's say phone number, email and name. So now to get these leads, people need good content production about the keywords or the subject their prospects are Googling. And afterwards, what happens is if you have a good content that drives traffic or that trust, with that trust, the organization gets what? Qualified leads. Those who can be their customers. Without content writers, 90 to 95% businesses, those who are into lead generation model, they cannot expect a client online. They cannot expect a qualified prospect with them who can be their customer. So all of these companies, those who are there, whether people are selling cars, they need a buyer details who can be my customer. Whether people are selling properties, they need a buyer details who are in that bracket of buying a property of some crores. It can be any product. They need writers to communicate the message clearly that drives trust and finally they have the information called prospect information. Everybody sorted clear? How an organization gets qualified leads and what are different types of opportunities available for content writers in this particular niche, I would say, or department, I would say. Last part is brand building. How an organization can build a brand using writer. That's called write communication. Content writers are the one who drives the entire communication, whether it is a form of an email, whether it is a form of a social media activity, 
whether it is web page content, correct? Now, people, they get this brand image only on the basis of one thing called good content. Without a good content writer, an organization cannot establish a good brand image in front of their audience. If your message is not clear, even if you're communicating something wrong, in the end of the day, that may impact to the entire audience that you are catering to. And in the end of the day, if you don't have a good writer, this particular job one cannot fulfill. Now, the major market that you have seen here, it's all around content. So whether you are running any kind of a product, any kind of a service online today, you need a writer to perform all of these things. Everybody, market-wise, are you clear that why are you important today? Why they need you? Why exactly content writers are in demand? What exactly they fulfill when they hire you? Now, let me address the other part. That's called as a writer. Okay. This was the market that, okay, the market demands Sanchal, Swati because of these reasons. The second objective is let's understand why are you here and how exactly you can get yourself in the market. So what I'm trying to create here is that what are different types of practices you can use to get yourself in the content writing industry, whether as a freelancer to get work from home projects or to start with a full-time job or a career in the content industry. So depending upon what are whatever your goals are or your objectives are, I would like to request all of you to put this in the chat box that I'm here to get my first job or I'm here to start with, let's say, a content writing business, whatever it is, just put that so that I can create one by one that how exactly you're going to get this. Everybody, what's your career objective? Why would you like to learn content writing? For Sanchal, it is to get a new skill, okay? What about others? For Anji, it is to get a job, okay? Others? Freelance to gain full engagement at free time. Okay. Get my first job for Aditi. All right. I want to know about content writing. Fine. Okay. So let me create first for the people who are here to get a job. And the second one, we will be talking about freelancing people. Okay. How to get a job in content writing industry. So it is a diversified industry. There are different types of objectives organizations have and they hire people or they prefer hiring people from a similar kind of a background. And they expect that you should have your portfolio like that ready with you. So one thing that people who are here to get a job, they should be clear about it, that your focus should be not just to learn content writing, to build an estab or establish a great portfolio. Now, point of discussion here is that as a writer or wannabe writer, you have no idea which all types of companies will come and hire me when I'm graduating from an institution, whether it is IM skills or others available in the market. Let's say down the line after three months or four months when you are graduating, you have no clue that which company will come and hire. Agreed? That is the case in this particular one that you need to build a portfolio according to all and each and every type of organizations available. Example, you must know SEO writing. You must know book publishing. You must know PR writing. You must know SOP writing. You must know resume writing. You must know legal writing. You must know white papers. You must know academic writing. You must know copywriting. You must know fiction, nonfiction, creative writing. You must know means everything. I mean, you should be able to do every type of writing. And in real time, you have done it. Because 
assume that a company into book publication they are hiring so if they ask you that have do you know how to publish a book you can show them okay i've done this when i learned a training program from an institution i did this with the company when it's they say that do you know how to write seo based article you show them that, okay i did this i have published my articles at good platforms name them and show them likewise all of these types of things that i've mentioned here it should be done practically by you now the point of discussion that's very important and i want that people who have mentioned here that i'm here to get my job they should accept this is it's easy to say that you will be writing all of these things but it is difficult when you will write them what exactly this stands for this stands for that see for me as an institution or as a coach i will be teaching you all the content writing part that okay this is how we write this is the way these are the best practices but in the end of the day when you will sit down and you will be writing all of these things it will take minimum of 3 to 4 months to build a solid portfolio without this solid portfolio you will not be able to drive that trust that you know practical part of all these exercises that i've mentioned above that you know all of these things and if you don't know all of these things the point is that you will remain jobless why you will remain jobless because it's very clear if the other one available in the market who is uh, you know applying for the similar kind of jobs have a good looking portfolio will be able to grab it versus you so my suggestion to all of you whether you will be taking up a training with us or others remember that you have to build a portfolio and portfolio development does take time a lot of time it's not something see i'm saying you will write a book and publish it this is what my website says right but you will be the one who will be writing this book and writing a book definitely takes time and it will take at least 3 to 4 months an investment of 1 to 2 hours every day you need to give so that you can actually build an amazing portfolio by the end and you are ready to get a job everybody clear talking about freelancers in the freelancing industry definitely your clients will expect that you should have a portfolio this is one kind of a reference they will cross check whether you are eligible to do this job for those guys or not okay as a freelance writer if you don't have a portfolio it is not possible that you will ever be able to convince your clients that i can do this job and if that's going to be missing what will you lose you will lose a client at the same time there is one more thing i would like to highlight here that's called how to get a client See a lot of places there on internet, people are claiming this that we will be helping you to get a client from freelancing websites. Practically, it is possible, but definitely very hard. Versus you learn marketing, how to convert them into a sale, how to set a legal document done so that they pay you on time, and each and everything so that you are all pro and you can actually do it regularly from work from home and you can finally be able to go ahead and reach out to the maximum number of potential income that you have planned for yourself so basically you need to have a portfolio along with that you should learn some other skills to make sure that this will happen because if you don't know marketing it's hard to go ahead and get a customer or prospect who can be converted into a customer likewise you may have a prospect detail but you don't know how to pitch them properly that's again, you are going to lose a customer. Maybe you have converted a customer, but you're not delivering them properly. Or maybe you have delivered them and they're not paying you on time. So such types of challenges can also be there, correct? So basically you have to build multiple skills. Okay. How this is going to happen, we will talk about it. Now to get a freelancing career, and I would say stable freelancing career, wherein you're expecting forever work from home jobs. Okay. Remember one thing that it is not just having a good portfolio. It is also about learning a bit of marketing, a bit of sales, a bit of other involvement of, let's say, technology and other things. Because now I'm going to talk about something very important. Point clear, can I have your acknowledgement in the chat box? Cool. 
So let me address this part that how are we going to help you fulfilling this particular activity? Okay. As most of you have seen, we provide a training program named as Content Writing Master Course. This course is actually developed for two months. In two months of training, we will deliver 30 different types of content writing skills so that you can learn how to draft different forms of contents. Then we have two months inbuilt in-house internship with IM skills that is focused towards building your portfolio and launching you guys in the market. So let me explain this part that how it goes. Now the point here what we follow is that we divide people based on two different categories. One is job, wherein they will be focusing, building their portfolio. We will be meeting weekly to these guys every Sunday from 11 a.m. till 12 p.m. during their internship period. And we will help them to build their portfolio and we will be reviewing that every week. So when I say we, that's mean, that means I. I am Vibhav, I am going to be your host. Then we have freelancers. Freelancers, we will be teaching you marketing, sales, and other skills after these skills, okay? So that you can launch yourself in the market and make sure that you are picking up clients while you are in the training program. Now, here is a bold promise that I'm making to all of you. I am skills offers you end-to-end -end services for the job. This includes training, helping you guys building your resume, optimizing your LinkedIn, scheduling your interviews through our internal companies and partner companies. And finally, we are giving you a word that in four months duration of this training program, you will get your dream job in content writing industry. If that doesn't happen, we will return you 1.5x fee that we have charged you. 1.5x fee we will return if whatever we have charged you. The only condition that we are marking here is that you have to follow all the tasks assigned to you during the training period. And if you will not fulfill that, we cannot place you. Am I clear, everyone? People who are here to get a job. People who are here to become freelancers. We want to ensure you that you will learn, build up massive and good-looking portfolio. You will learn marketing skills and everything. You will get your first client with the help of all the skills you have built. We will not help you to get a client. You will be doing your own marketing and get the client. Okay. It is a word. And once you have achieved that, you have to just repeat the similar practices every day so that you can get new clients every time. If you're unable to fulfill this dream, I want that you should know that I'll return 1.5 XP to you. The again, one condition is that follow all the tasks we have assigned and created in this training program. This course is a well-established course in a way that ensures people who will act whatever they want, job or freelancing, they get that in the training period itself for four months. Are you all clear that how it goes? The training program. So first two months where you will learn the next two months where you fulfill the objectives. So you will build your portfolio and you will launch yourself in the market. Everybody can have an acknowledgement in the chat box. Now, I want that you should not trust. In the end of the day, I am skills. I'm from I am skills. I will only be praising my institute. I want that don't trust me. I want you to go to LinkedIn. In the LinkedIn. Okay. Write I am skills. Press enter. After doing this, click on this particular profile called people. And here you are going to get list of 35,000 plus professionals out of which 18,500 plus they are the one who have done content writing course with IM skills. Okay. You can simply go ahead, add any of these guys from page number one till page number 200 or 500. Any person, ask them, where are you working today? Which types of career options you have received? Tell me the kind of value you have received after pursuing a course from IM skills. Any question that you have about this course, you can just ask this thing and you will have the answer. Am I clear, everybody? 
you will understand that what kind of a word they will give you about the institute, about the services you have received and everything. Can I have your acknowledgement? Is this clear? Second important thing. Why I should go ahead? Okay. There are plenty of options available and I would say some of uh, at half of the cost. Why I should pick up IM skills, right? And before that, let me just pause my recording for a Highlight this, that I wanted to show you all how many of my students are writing at Times of India so that you can further trust that anything and everything shown by us is 100% guaranteed. How many of them have published their books? I wanted to show you that. But unfortunately, I can't because my phone thing is not loading here. I have to figure out another way. So far, point is clear. Now, let's talk about why I should pick up IM skills. This is one of the most important question. People should ask, not just us, all the other institution as well. First and foremost, our training is guaranteed on objective driven. So you're here to get a job, we ensure you have that. You're here to start as a business, we ensure you have that. Second thing, trainer support forever. Understand, I have 13 courses with me. This particular course, I myself is teaching you all, okay? The groups where you are participating, the WhatsApp group, the customer service is given to you directly by the CEO of IM Skills. Unlike any other training institution, you are not going to be dependent upon third people. Third means third party. I'm saying that here, I'm the coach. With me, Roma is there. Gargi is there. Three of us are there in those groups. Any discussion that is going to happen, you have directly us to go ahead and talk about. You don't have to speak to the counselor. You don't have to email. You don't have to do any other thing. We are there to give you complete hand holding. And the proofs I've given you while I was showing you my WhatsApp thing. Third important thing, lifetime access for the learning management system and end-to-end -end placement services support. What it includes, we have our own dedicated job portal. As a student of IM skills, you can come here, apply for these jobs. These jobs that whatever you will, you will be applying through us, these are exclusively available for us or for our students. At the same time, the companies, those who are hiring, they are good. At this current stage, I'm hiring for Amazon for 300 profiles. Whether we will schedule your interviews, you will not be able to crack them because in the end, this is what they will ask you. Everybody, is this clear? The next question you may ask me is that, Webhoff, tell us the training schedule that how it's going to work. We conduct classes every Sunday, 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. This is your fixed classes in the first training period. Overall, here you have 30 hours of lectures available. Okay. Once this is done, you will be participating with me 11 a.m. till 12 p.m. in the internship classes. Internship classes are actually built to design your portfolio, support you during that period. I'm the host, I'm the coach, and I'm going to be, meet you all weekly. And you will be doing all of these things. For example, you will learn WordPress, practical part, how to build and establish a good looking website. All of those things, you will be publishing your articles. You will be writing for Medium, Vocal, Times of India. I mean, big platforms so that you have a good looking portfolio ready with you. You will publish your book, hard copy or ebook. All of these things we will be doing for you. Okay. And once it is done, you will be moving ahead for the final goal that you have freelancing your business. Likewise, if you miss any session, let's say you missed out a session. Can you repeat those classes? You can go ahead and participate in a live class. Again, you can go ahead and also participate in a recorded one with the help of this LMS. The tools that we are offering are available here for free. And you can use them with multiple websites. The recordings are available for you on your laptop, tablet, phone, forever. You can check tasks, recordings, tools, everything in this particular LMS forever. 
it is not something that for a year you have access to this and next year you pay us. You can participate in our training programs even after three years again for free. We will not ask you to pay even a single rupee. When is the next batch starting? So there is a new batch. We are starting from 20th of August. That is day after tomorrow. Okay. And the ticket of this course is INR 16,900 plus GST. Am I clear? The next batch is from 20th August 2023. Now, these are the informations I wanted to highlight and I'm 100% sure each one of you have already gone through with the, these details regarding certifications. You are going to participate in three exams. One is with US HubSpot, UK, TOLIS and IM Skills Government of India. And once you will clear all of these, you will be certified from the respective companies. And that's how the certifications are. Now, you guys can ask me any question if you have any about this training program. And before that, I would like to know how many of you have a plan to start from August 20th batch so that our team members can get in touch with you and take this forward. Yes, Aditi, you can. That's not a problem. Whosoever would like to start from August 20th can let me know in the chat box so that my team members can speak with you. And after two minutes, we will open our open Q&A part so that we can start the discussion part. When is the next batch starting? Either 23rd of September or 17th of September. One out of these dates not yet confirmed. Okay, those who would like to talk, they can raise their hand. Otherwise, what they can do, they can ask me to unmute. Just write unmute. I will go ahead and unmute you. Sanchal says, I will join September batch. Sure, Sanchal, not a problem. People with their questions can ask me now. I am there online for the next 15 minutes. Those who would like to talk can ask me to unmute. I will do the needful. Is it possible to switch from job to freelancing? Definitely it is possible. In fact, a lot of people, they have done this in the recent days. Because most of the companies have started asking people to join back the office part. And many of my students, they have moved from full-time job to freelancing option. Companies, in fact, prefer hiring freelancers more uh, versus a full-time writer. Reason being, let's say a startup is there. They have to produce only 3 lakh words overall for their website. So they will be... Uh, expecting that they'll outsource it to three, five writers and complete the work in immediately and post that they don't need a writer. So why will they hire somebody for, or recruit somebody? But there are companies those who regularly need writers. Example, companies like us. So we need writers to perform academic writing, blog pages, video scripts. So there, it depends, Aditi, honestly. However, mix of things are there. However, most of the people nowadays are moving towards freelancing. I am retired employee. Which option will be better for me? Job or freelancing? I personally suggest Mr. Shiti that uh, freelancing is better or I would say business. He's Mr. Partho Ghosh, my student. 62 years of age, running a freelancing agency right now. 
this website he designed after learning from me. You can actually review this. Everything about it. He published two books. His number is also there. East Side Writer. This is the company he's running, doing decently well. At that time, our certification used to look like this. This is the HubSpot certificate. So if he can do, you can surely do this. Aditi, both the options are possible. Morzina says, I can confirm tomorrow. Not a problem. As I understand, the internship will begin after completion of two months content writing course. Am I correct? Correct, Anji. Anji, the internship is focused towards helping you guys to build your portfolio. And uh, being honest, don't consider internship as internship. It is actually like... Uh, as a student of IM skills, we are helping you that you work on these things and you create your profile. It's not something that we will be making you employees of IM skills that you will be writing for us. Every other thing you will be doing for yourself. You will be publishing your book. You will be writing at media, vocal, all these websites, Times of India for your subjects. So anything and everything you're doing for yourself, right? I am as an instructor will help you whether you're doing it right or not. The training remains the same, those looking for job as well, freelancing, suppose. Absolutely. And just that freelancers, they get additional topics. I teach them ads. I teach them uh, subjects such as marketing, legal papers, all other things. Is this paid or unpaid course? Morsina, definitely it is a paid training program. Could not get it. Please be specific whether job will be better or freelancing for retired people. Sir, freelancing will be better. People will not hire you at this age, but people can outsource you a work. For you, it is freelancing. Any other person who would like to ask a question? Nobody wants to get unmuted. This is your August batch payment link. All right. Those who are planning to take up the batch from August, please save this URL and get the enrollment done. Any other question, guys? Otherwise, we are good to end the session. Okay, then. Thank you, Aditi, Anil, Anchi, Shiti, Maheshwari, Mutasim, Pushpa, Sanchal, Swati, everyone, for participating today in the class. It was pleasure hosting the session for you guys. I am looking forward welcoming each and every one in the upcoming lectures. So for any help, you can further speak with our team members. They will be taking it forward with you guys. Those who have said to update by tomorrow, make sure that by noon, that's 12, you can update us because at 12.30, people will get access for the training program, the login details and everything. Once again, it was great hosting the class, guys. I'm ending the meeting now. Looking forward to speak with you. Please send phone numbers to Womb Contact. Sure. Shiti, uh, Shiva, can you please drop your phone number so that everyone can save? You all can save this number. This number. 
and connect with Shiva. Some of you might have been speaking with Veronica. So you can connect with Shiva or Veronica accordingly. All right, guys, I'm ending the meeting now. Thank you once again. It was great seeing you all online and uh, expecting all of you to be a part of our batches in the upcoming days. Take care. Wishing you all a great day ahead. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you.